Here, we in this earthing center. Wait in for them to call me. I'm so scared, y'all. I'm gonna be alright. Pray for me. Okay, y'all. Today is the day. Um, I don't know why I'm smiling. And then, really, oh. Well, I'm smiling because I'm sneaking doing this because I'm not supposed to be doing it. Let's see her right here. They got her prepped and stuff already. Um, she about to get ready to leave me. So I'll be in this room. They said the procedure should be fast. Oh, there you go. <laughs> they said the procedure should be like um, a 10 to 15 minute procedure. So I'm going to see us in recovery. We'll see her in recovery. They make me sit here and wait on her. Don't mind me, but I'm all right now. I'm just in a little pain, but they finna get ready to discharge me soon, like in a minute. So I'll see y'all once I get home. My pain is like cramps, a bad, bad period. This is like my arm is still very sore from this IV, but yeah, I'll see y'all soon. Hey y'all, so I just wanted to do a <laughs> I just want to do a little update. Um, it's like 10 o'clock. We got up. We got home. What time we got home? I one, two. Yeah, around like one, two o'clock from the surgery center. Excuse us, we look rough, but yeah, y'all can understand why. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, we got home <laughs> and um, we rested, we ate, and then we went, rested for a long time. Um, when I went to sleep, I was in no pain. When I woke up, um, I woke up from the pain and it was just cramping. Um, that's really all it's been. I've been having very minimal bleeding, like tiny, it's like spotting, that's what it is. But, um, yeah, just feel like cramps. That is all. But the procedure went well. Um, they gave me a lot of, like, sedation medicine. Then they gave me, like, heavy pain meds afterwards. So, I didn't really feel nothing up until I woke up at home. But, yeah, I'm just coming back tomorrow once everything is all fresh and new. And see how tomorrow goes. And I'm going to end this um, vlog basically about the procedure um, and just give y'all some information everything tomorrow. So, I'm going to end tonight. Hey y'all, so I just want to end this vlog really, really quick before I film my other videos. Um, I did lose a clip. The clip we lost was the one where LeClaire recorded when I had woke up from the surgery. Um, I don't know what happened to it. In the process of transferring, it kind of disappeared. So it's not in this um, 
video but basically when i woke up i'm just gonna sit down really quick basically when i woke up i um i cried a bit because um number one i was in pain and number two it was like you know saying goodbye um so then they came in they gave me some medicine um they had given me some pain medicine like prior to me waking up just so i wouldn't wake up in pain but i still woke up in pain um so she gave me sorry i'm in my room she gave me some um ivy medicine and basically not some ivy medicine she gave me two antibiotic pills and then i believe one for nausea and then one for pain which i believe was a percocet um after that i was very loopy because i was still on like the medicine they gave me prior to um or during the surgery so i wouldn't be woke um with that plus the percocet i don't really remember much um leclerc said i was just basically happy um and jolly and okay um so i came home i ate um still wasn't really feeling anything like i told y'all last night wasn't feeling nothing um went to sleep we got home like around noon went to sleep i didn't wake up until 7 p.m um and then when i woke up i felt my pain and it wasn't like cramps well y'all was weird when i went to sleep i i wasn't bleeding much at all like at all i bled in the hospital bed it's tmi but I have to tell y'all the whole journey. I bled in the hospital bed, but um, when I got home and checked my pad, it was like this much blood, literally. Um, and it was like the entire I woke up. What woke me up was the pain, and then I guess because the medications were off, so it was the pain, and then it was the fact that I felt like I was soaking my pad. So then I get to the bathroom, y'all, and there was nothing on my pad again. Like it was empty. So that's still that way till right now. Um, the following day, I, I'm still not bleeding a whole lot at all. They told me it was going to be a heavy, a heavy bad period, but that's tr it was truly not the case to everybody. Um, like I said, I'm bleeding very minimally. Not much blood at all. I could wear a panty liner. That's how much I'm bleeding. Um, but the pressure is more like pressure in my stomach versus pain. Um, it's just a lot of pressure. I do notice when I stand a long time, pain gets worse. Um, so basically I've been sitting with my heating pad um and dealing with it that way i do have a few vid videos that i have to get out for companies as y'all can see behind me that fedex bag is a hair review i have to do um and then i also have like two other ones um plus i have to film the assumption video i just have a lot to do um because youtube is my full-time job now so i have deadlines and everything i have to meet and also i need to consistently upload for y'all so i'm not allowing myself i'm allowing myself to grieve but i'm not allowing myself to be down for so long that it affects you know my job which is youtube now so i just want to update y'all on how i'm doing the procedure went very very well all the horror stories about the procedure was not true i don't remember anything from the actual procedure i just remember them rolling me back and basically talking to me and then um, basically, they said that uh, I was going to get really sleepy. Like, that's all I remember. The worst part, literally, of the whole procedure was the IV, number one. And they also numbed me for that, but she didn't let the numbing medicine kick in. But that's neither here nor there. But the really the worst part of the procedure was the fact of you're losing um, your child. But the doctors were very, very nice. They kept checking on me during the whole before and after, making sure I'm okay. And they kept apologizing for what's happened. They're very, very sweet. Nothing like my other doctor's office. And I just, the whole experience was, it was, of course, it was tough mentally on me, but I'm, I'm doing much better. Um, honestly, that was my, um, first time ever being like there with someone who had just got surgery or who was gonna get surgery. Like I had people in my family who got it, but I never been there. So that was my first time seeing the whole anesthesia thing. I ain't never really seen that like face to face before. Um, you saw like the, the effects of it? Yeah, like I never seen it like face to face. Um, 
when he first came to me, like when he like when he first walked up, he was finna he was walking up like he was finna say something bad happened. Like who? He was the dude, like one of the dudes who was in there. Oh, you know the dude who was who they was, came uh, back before they brought me back yeah oh like i was walking to the bathroom and he met me but he was walking up to me real fast and like he was like looking like he had like he was finna say something back you know what was it the one that was the talked one who about was the talking basketball and stuff yeah the dude with the blue eyes yeah the big ones i didn't look at the eyes but yeah, yeah. he had some big old eyes his eyes was real big what did he go up to you and say? Like, he came up to me and he said the procedure went good, but the way he was looking and walking, You're it scared. looked like he was going to say something bad. Yeah. Like, my <laughs> heart dropped. And I was like, oh. <laughs> but, but, yeah, it went um, really well. Yeah, it went good. Like I said, the painting is bad as what everybody was saying yeah. and what I thought it was going to be. Um, I really only need Tylenol and the, the heating pad, and I'm fine. Um, and a long time. Yeah. A long time. I, Cause it's like the stress of everything that I went through. It's kind of hard to deal with Leia, cause Leia's so bubbly and so active, and I can't be that way with her right now. So I kind of feel bad, but I know the reason why I'm um like this. So it's it's gonna pass. I'm gonna be okay. Yeah. But. Yeah, so now we basically moving on or moving forward from this. Um, we get a lot of questions about, I feel like we zoomed in. We are zoomed in. <laughs> I get a lot of questions about us trying again. As y'all know, we're moving. Our plans, our big plans, we was going to like announce it in like a regular video, but I done said it probably about twice already now. But we More plan on, that. yeah. We plan on moving to Arizona um, May 1st, and that's still in effect. Um we're just ready to start our lives over yeah, in a new right. state new city we were just ready to let this yeah. uh, everything go yeah um so moving forward we do want to start trying again once we get there and once we're settled i don't want to try again because the number one i don't want to take a 27 hour road trip that's how long it takes to get from here to there um i don't want to take yeah, that being pregnant that's fine um yeah i, I got big face y'all know that but uh yeah i don't want to take that road trip being pregnant because that's just gonna be very hard and then i have leia too so we're just gonna try again once we get there um once again we're not giving up on future pregnancies i want a big family and i think he finally on board with my four kids so i don't know about <laughs> but i ideally want like two boys two girls um i want a full house so i never really had a big family he has always had like tons of family members it has not been that way with me my whole entire life so I, I just really want that for myself but we'll see maybe three possibly four so we plan on moving um may 1st so y'all will see some packing vlogs we're not taking much with us but a few things like the furniture all this stuff we're selling we're gonna sell the couch all that I probably just end up taking like the decorations, like the decorations and our clothes, our clothes. Yeah. cause I got tons of cute decorations I want to kind of keep the same colors so I'm just gonna sell like our main furniture lay a crib we, the bed yeah we is starting to look like him that's weird I only I, realized how much lighter I am than you on camera yeah but Anywho, if y'all want to lay it asleep later Finally. on today, y'all gonna be excited because y'all been asking for a lot of videos with her. Y'all love her. But me and her are doing a seafood mukbang together. So. Hey, what is that? What? What does that mean? That's nothing. Oh, That's oh. brightness. <laughs> um, <laughs> Y'all will be very excited about that. We're doing a mukbang tonight for our dinner because we're having the seafood. We're gonna have some mussels, some shrimp, some corn, some potatoes. Seafood makes me happy, so. I'm trying to do things that makes me happy and stay busy so like I won't be depressed or anything they did do an ultrasound prior to the procedure everything was still measuring the same <laughs> nothing had grew so I got a lot of questions about that telling me to wait and this that and the third but well my sack had grew but the baby was still six weeks four days so I think that's everything though all the questions all the concerns we want to thank y'all for all your prayers Really appreciate it. I said that, and that's the unfortunately the clip you lost probably. One oh of the yeah. Clips you lost because that was. 
because they did the ultrasound prior to I was asleep when they did it but they did the ultrasound prior to them you know take everything out but I love the doctors I had everything went smoothly everything went great I didn't have no complications um and yeah that's it so we will see y'all um in the next video which will be the assumption I'm doing the assumptions which about me and then also today I'm doing two videos later today, which is the assumptions and then the mukbang with Leia. But y'all will see the assumptions first and then the mukbang second. But y'all will see this today, which is Wednesday. So, yeah, we'll see y'all later. Later. <laughs>